I'm Emily and my assistant is Coralie and we are talking to you today about the art line um, specifically Shirlume. I always thought it was pronounced Shirloom but it's Shirlume. and it is a brightening cream that Young Living has come out with. Brightening creams have become really popular um, because they help improve the appearance of your skin if you have age spots or liver spots or if you're like me and you were pregnant and you need some brightening for your dull skin. Um, they can also help you look a little bit more youthful and dewy. I hope I have a dewy glow. So um, with brighteners, uh, skin brighteners, the most common ingredient right now for stuff that's on the market is um, hydroquinone. And sometimes even mercury. You guys, heavy metal poisoning. Hello. Your skin is an organ and when you put stuff directly on it, it just absorbs the stuff around it. So in your environment, in your lotions, in your creams, whatever. So you want to make sure that you're not putting mercury or hydroquinone all over your face. Um, even the campaign for safe cosmetics says that hydroquinone is one of the most dangerous ingredients in personal care products on the market. That's a big deal. So I really appreciate that Young Living has come out with a non-toxic option. And the way that um, they use oils to help brighten your skin and to help make it have that youthful glow are with some essential oils. Um, Yarrow, Melissa, and Madonna oil are all known for properties that help brighten and even nourish your skin. And then they also have geranium, jasmine, and frankincense. And those are known to give you a youthful, natural glow. So guys, I highly suggest using this. I use it every time after I shower. I don't use it every day. I'm lazy with my skincare. So this stuff is great. I suggest you try it. Um, it works. I wish I had a before and after picture for you, but I don't. So, um, next time you have some ER points or a little extra fun money to spend because you've got all your other awesome oils, get Shirlume. It's great. Bye.